So chat, YouTube, it's time for some black, green, rock, so to speak. This is a an eight goyf list playing the four copies of Nether Goyf and the four copies of Tarm Goyf, and a lot of different card types. But what's notable about this list is that we are playing the Battle Invasion of Macoria, which is to an X. You search your library for a CMC or a creature with CMC X. And then if you remove the counters on this thing with Vampire Hex Mage, then it becomes an 8-8 reach. And for each non-human creature you control, you may have that creature assign its combat damage as though it weren't blocked. So you can do some pretty devastating damage upstairs with this. Uh, other than that, we got some supporting cards to go with it. We got the Fatal Push as a removal spell. It's just an instant. Thoughtseize is a sorcery for hand disruption. Haywire Mare Artifact. And Creature, same with Hex Parasite. Nile Spell Bombs, Artifact, Artifact, Artifact. Get all these off of Urza Sagas. We got three copies of Urza Saga in here. I didn't want to go with the full four Urza Sagas because I feel like it was really hard to cast Vampire Hex Mage consistently with four copies of Urza Saga. But I'd like to go with three. I also have the one copy of Urborg, so we can go turn one like Urborg, turn two Saga, and still cast Vampire Hex Mage if need be. Uh, other than that, other two drops, we got Bow Masters, which is just a good card generically. You can also tutor it out with Ikoria. You can get it back with Overlord. We have one copy of Shoot the Sheriff to give us an out to Merc Tide. And four copies of Goyf because it's a good beater. And the Overlord of the Bale Merc, which we can impending for one of the black, middle top four, and then return a creature from the graveyard to your hand. Then if you have Vampire Hex Mage, sacrifice it, target the Overlord of the Bale Merc. When it's impended, it becomes a 5 5 that you can attack with immediately, which I think is pretty cool. So a lot of synergistic stuff around Vampire Hex Mage and the Hex Parasite in this deck. Mana base wise, we got two copies of Blooming Marsh for Fast Land, two copies of Besage for Artifact and Jam and Destruction, Basic Forest. Some fetches, some shocks, a couple of uh, basic swamps, a Twilight Mire for filtering, two copies of the Black Green Surveil Land, one Herb Org deal with the Urza Saga, and then four more fetches. Sideboard wise, we got one copy of Ghost Vacuum to go get off the Urza Saga. We got an additional copy of Haywire Mics. I think Haywire Mics is really good in general. We got a Pithy Needle to get off the Urza Saga as well. Two more Shoot the Sheriffs. I should probably split Shoot the Sheriff and go for the throat here, but you know, two mana removal spells. And then four copies of Break the Ice. Now, Break the Ice is interesting because I think that there's a good argument to, for this to be Fulminator Mage right now. And the reason you could be Fulminator Mage here is because you have Overlord of the Bale Merc to return a creature card from the graveyard to your hand. So you can return a Fulminator Mage with uh, the Overlord of the Bale Merc. You can also search up Fulminator Mage with Invasion of Ikoria, but that costs 5 mana, and I think it's a little bit too expensive. And I value just having the Break the Ice on 2 instead of the Fulminator on 3. Especially since we don't have any Soul Cauldron synergies, so I think Break the Ice is probably better than Full Money Mage in this deck, but we'll see how it plays out. Two copies of Toxic Daily, which is your sweeper, two Endurance for Graveyard Hate, and then two Rings for the grindy matchups. Alright, we got the combo already. So I can go turn one Thought Seize and then turn two Bale Merc, X Mage. Sand's good, but we'll see if it's good enough against Energy. Energy's mad efficient, so I wouldn't be surprised if we just got kind of run over. I have no turn one play though, so opium. Unfortunately, I have to fetch shock thoughts if I want to do it on turn one. Pretty painful. Yo, the big friendly gamer. Take the 11 months. See you in Vegas indeed, my friend. I appreciate you. I like the name change as well. How do you remember voltage? In Swin Swept Teeth. I'm definitely just gonna play the Overlord of the Bale Merc on Impending right now. If I play it out the Vampire Hex Mage, just gonna get eaten by Flage, so let's impend. I'm pretty happy that they kept such a medium hand. I have no targets to return, that's so sad. I'll at least be able to return the Vampire Hex Mage. I wonder if you're gonna flage me. Probably, right? Nope, plays Nocelot Pride. Well, it needs a strong word. Alright, Vampire Hex Mage. Is 
Target the Overlord. Go to combat. Attack with my beef stick. Pick up Armaglyph. And play 5 6. I'm the reason Bale Merc's $25. It's mostly Pioneer. Cards insane in Pioneer. Yeah, I brewed this up before the stream started today. Right, let's go to dudes. Wait, I got you get your days have to be a little bit more difficult though. That day sounds too easy. Double static prison. That's fine. Yeah, everything is Pioneer's fault. Room. So I can go Invasion. Return my Overlord. Invasion, Haywire Might. Activate Haywire Might. Take out Static Prison. Or I could just play Goy Pesaju. Goy is probably better. Get him with the sneaky Besaju. I haven't been playing modern challenges since they got nerfed and then unnerfed. Not for the Pokemans, for the Legacy. Gotta practice for Eternal Weekend coming up here. Imagine no attacks here. Um, a buddy of mine got me. Thanks, BFG. I wonder if I was supposed to take out the Arena of Glory. It was definitely something to consider. That's a big old goif. Terborg. Terborg. All right, let's see what creature toolbox we have. We got hex parasite, bowmaster, haywire might. I think I'm definitely attacking with the overlord. Snatching up another Goyf, maybe. I could just deploy, like, Goyf. Deploy another Goyf, play Bowmaster. Try not to die, and I'll kill him with the invasion to Hex Mage next turn. Not dying's a little tough, though. It was just telling me to steal bot, but the only thing I want is lantern control. Which doesn't know what's in your best interest. I'm oh, sorry, chat. The music was a little loud. Forgot to lower it from the last stream. They gave me back another goif. Is this the power of infinite goifs? I'm dead. Maybe not. people realize it was Dark Souls. If I don't die this turn, then they're dead. But I have to survive this turn. I'm okay. They get to kill a 1-1 one -one cat, flip a Johnny. Alive? I think I'm living. What's up, Komen? I'm doing fantastic. Goes upstairs. Alive at one. 
I mean, they can't attack with this. What was their plan here? Makes you wonder. Acts with this many. I mean, you're a six, seven. I'll block like that. Grab Shadow Spear. Play Fetch, Crack Fetch. Green, green. Invasion for two. Search my library, grab Vampire, Hex Mage, Vampire, Hex Mage, Sacrifice, target this. Flip it. Flippy, skippity, cast the new one. Equip a Shadow Spear. I'd like to go to combat. I'll return another goof. Yes, yes, yes. Dies. Negative 11. This was kind of nasty for turn six. That was a lot of large creatures. Spider Man, me move. Coleman. And we got a couple of Toxic Deluge, a couple of rings. Hey, why am I a needle? I like the Ghost Vacuum too. They got the Nile Spell Bomb. I don't think I need the Hex Parasite. I can actually shoot the sheriff. Well, maybe I should have played Meat Hook. Yeah, I probably should have played Meat Hook in this deck. Although, our creatures are always large, so they were never going to die to Toxic Deluge. Yeah, Meat Hook's probably better, though. I have to take out six cards here. Trim one, one, one. I like all the Goyfs. I don't care for Thoughtseize that much. I think Bowmasters are great. Maybe I just got all the thoughts he's bringing the extra shoot the Sheriff. Fairly reasonable hand. I want Rags just kind of annoying. I realize now I messed up which fetch land I was supposed to put in this deck. I think I was supposed to put a black fetch land and not a misty rainforest. I think the deck is more black heavy than green heavy. I want to try ring as a cyborg card. Hello, fellow member. I can't wait for my jet ski to arrive. I hope Javor's face is just on the side of it. Lex slot. See it already. Oak Myers is saga. They got harder. Friend who let me a deck for this modern event forgot to bring his deck and won't be able to play, so I took myself out of the event. Let him play in the LGS for league points. Best look at the watch dingoes. There you go. That's what we like to hear. You can't have easy days, the doob. Agony. How do you develop? Little push.
see what we get out this. Pick up this glaive. I think I'm just gonna hold the fatal push. I could play the other glaive. I think holding up fatal push is a little bit safer. It's a Babylon. It's pretty much just an insurance plan in case they try to flip this to Johnny. Surveillance. Buys Gigantha. Bonk. Yeah, wrong green black deck. Not enough lanterns in it. On a mix cat. Bold move. One ring never bad in any deck. I'm gonna grab a hex parasite. No, that's not great. Gabo Bombardo. Invasion's actually been pretty sweet. Five plus six looks like lethal to me. Looks like lethal to me. Here's a giant dinosaur. Honestly, this deck is more of a zoo deck than zoo is. That was not close. Like, not at all close. Hmm. I'll keep this. Sorry, no green screen. Oh, it's the Yigra food deck. Turn one goof. That's oh, the Samwise deck. Well, I don't have much interaction for this, so what do I use? Yeah, you can play Dry Arbor. I didn't feel like it was necessary. Plus, Dry Arbor is like a really bad draw, right? I was trying to eliminate the number of bad draws in the deck. Board for one. Viscerous here. Alright, we're dead. Dies of turn three. You got a ghost vacuum. Grab endurance. Probably remove an overlord, remove an invasion. I think, it, honestly, this deck should probably be playing three and three anyways. I think you want to be on more Bowmasters, is my initial impression so far. Bowmaster would be really good in both these matchups. I like the Nile Spell Bomb, I don't mind the Hex Parasite. I think I can board out like a single Goyf.
That was a risky hand. I think I'm going to mulligan it. It's also kind of risky. Plays a halfling. I guess playing a one one or one two goif. Go Panther. David twelve months. Appreciate it. Welcome back. Eight goosen over there. I think we're probably just dead. Did not find a very good interaction. For the things they got going on. Not enough fatal pushes. We got an Amalia. Or Quarter Colin. No. Name's getting a vampire hex mage. Make them kill me next turn. If they can, it's gonna end poorly for them. They probably can, though. What song is this? Saint Baldia Kingdom from Luminous Arc 3. I think that leaves them not dead if they're cracking a food here. They get one additional turn. That's a problem. Oh no. Right, they found a Molly, they crack a food. Make a 2020. I guess that's. Oh, well, it's not really fun. I can't beat that. I'm gonna wipe the board, I can play a goif, then I have to jump block with a goif. If I find fatal push, maybe. I don't know if this is even worth playing out. Probably not. It's true, I could reset the Amalia counter. All right, 65. They're probably going to go up to like 80 life. Wipe my board and have a 20 20. I, mean, I can like maybe top deck, fatal push, or shoot the sheriff, or hex mage. All right, we'll scoop. That's good. It's got the Wombo combo. Turn two, Veil Merc. Turn three, Hex Mage. I really wish this was like a, a one drop. If you go one, two, it'd be nasty. It'd be way too powerful, but I don't know if that'd be way too powerful in the context of modern. Let's begin one drops. I think it's way too expensive. Twenty five. 
think I just start on Mortuary here. Yeah, one drop Bale Merc would be insane. It'd have to be like a lot weaker. For modern though, that'd be sweet. Yo, Darkest Mage, thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. Hope you had a great stream. Thanks a bunch. Big raid. Huge dub. My opponent has played a Hissing Quagmire, so I think it's the Black Green Mirror. I don't know what else to play Hissing Quagmire. The dudes, thank you for the 25. Is it jet ski time? Bet. Blue white Tameshi combo. And the whites for a single portable hole. <laughs> Alright, can do. Sounds good to doobs. Thank you for the 25. Yeah, I haven't seen a lot of Storm either. Which kind of surprises me, because I think it does very well against Energy. That matchup seems very favored for Storm compared to Energy. Zero Storm in the top 32. Feels Storm, man. I think it's a 2-3. I'm just attacking my 5-5. Five five. This Goyf grows out of range, but it'd be kind of sad. It's a little unlikely for that to happen, but it could definitely happen. It's a 3-4. I'm going to pick up the Haywire Might just in case. Shrink it back down to a 2 3. Bowmasters is kind of nice here, too. One with the tap land. I wonder how we can make this deck even stronger. Because I like this Vampire Hex Mage Bale Merc stuff. I don't think I might lose my Hex Parasite here. I don't even know if Hex Parasite's worth running. Maybe Hex Parasite's just not even good enough. Tear Sunder. I need that land for Sundering purposes. Go, go, go. The creatures just get so large so quickly. It's pretty sweet. Another Goyf. I think we're going to break this Goyf stalemate quite easily because we have Overlord, Return, Vampire, Hex Mage, and then... Play the Vampire Hex Mage, flip the Overlord, and then Invasion, flip Invasion. I think this, yeah, this deck needs more Joyce. Soft J. And then once we amass a giant army. We're just going to kill them with Invasion next turn. I'm excited. Is this a Bowmaster? Mm No, my invasion. That's messed up. 
I guess nobody's attacking ever. Honestly, what if I just attack with Overlord and I pick up another Overlord and play another Overlord? Oh, it's not an avatar, that's right, you can't loop overlords. Never mind. That'd be too sick. Watsy always prevent me from putting the sauce on the table. <sighs> Card design limiting me again. Hexy Wexy. Strict no sauce policy. Get rid of a overlord and snot sneeze. No, yeah, not sneeze. It's brought me down to four types, just kind of sad. Was I able to do that without getting rid of that many types? I don't think so. They still kind of can't attack me, though. If they attack me, they will feel the pain. Yay, we win. Unless they have Fatal Push. Turn Vampire Hex Mage, Vampire Hex Mage. I would like my 8 8 Dinosaur. Scoops to the 8 8 Dinosaur. Oh, if this deck had a Borrow Goyf, oh, it'd be the sauce. Best deck in format. Three. Yeah, we're playing a bunch of Hex Mages, so that way we can uh, Hex Mage Overlord and Hex Mage Invasion. So you can impending the Overlord, and then Hex Mage Sacrifice, target the Overlord, and then have it become a 5-5 on turn 3. That's also a 2-1 with First Strike. Think about how statted up that is. Yeah, it trades with Amphi Raptor. I think I get rid of the Thought Seizes here. Yeah, if you're playing just the invasion, I think you can go down. I was like, originally I was playing two copies of Hex Mage, and I was like, we should go up to he more Hex Mages and just see like how strong this is. I think it ended up being pretty strong, so. The one ring and the two ring, and no more than the two ring. Detrivor. Doesn't Detrivor suck? I will leave a fatal push on top. Sure, but it's a goif. Speaking of goifs. I'm gonna grow their goif. Gotta be worth it though. Holy schmoly, I just grew this thing by four points. I wish I had triple black this next turn. I go hex mage plus fatal push. Instead, it's probably just gonna be Goyf plus fatal push. Tiny bones. They're cooking. Teeny tiny little bones.
I remember when people were asking me if Tiny Bones was going to see play in Scam. Then immediately after, they axe Fury and Grief. I think I'm going to have to push the Tiny Bones. Take another 6 damage from this Goyf. Scam was so sick. Rest easy, Scam. You were missed greatly. And not even Legacy can you play Scam anymore. They act Scam so badly. If there is under. Black Source? New. Now is the spot where I wish I had the Dried Arbor in my deck. I can just do this and pass. I might have another Terra Sunder for the Overlord. Now oh, they had an Assassin's Trophy. You know, it's actually much better than them having another Terra, because now I get to push this. Yeah, now I'm alive. Now I don't feel so bad about that exchange. Yeah, it worked out way better than it should have. Scoos. It's gonna be the largest scoos of all time. I'm gonna shoot the sheriff. Try to kill it. More hex mages. Is there a creature that's also a removal spell chat? There's like Chupacabra. Is there a good one? Shriek Ma. Nah, it's too expensive. Grist? Yeah, you can play Grist, for sure. Cursed Marauder. Oh, if we had Invasion for a Cursed Marauder, easiest win. Save me Halo Tractor. Archers. Stab a little bit better. I have no idea what I'm getting here. I think it's just a Tarmogoyf. Yeah, I can reset the damage on ring. I can remove all the counters from the ring. Oh, two more hex mages in the deck, or two more hex mages in my hand. That's probably something I'm gonna end up doing pretty soon here. I think I'm gonna get rid of the invasion first, and then this second. My opponent didn't eat a bunch of stuff at the end step. Interesting. They probably passed through by accident. That's true. The hex mage can't drink it as well. Yo, Chendo, thank you for the 26 months. Appreciate the continued support, Chendo. Welcome back. Base Hex Mage is just base right now. Removes counters off the ring, removes counters off Scavenger Goose, takes it off of Invasion, takes it off the Overlord. Hex Mage is just broken.
Here's my dino. They elected to drain me. I'm gonna go to four. I like to draw one million. Found the shoot the sheriff. Let's shoot the sheriff. That right there, that's the sheriff. I think this is the command for the clip. Yeah. He's my hex mage. Bye bye, hex mage. This is a scam stream. I'm scamming everyone right now. I'm just gonna send him for eight so I can double block this hive and not have not be at risk of dying to anything. Because next turn they'll be dead anyways. Can't lose if I don't die. Take the counters off the orc token. That's exactly what's in that core. So I can bow master them, ping them, sack my hex mage, and kill my orc army. Alright, I said GG's. GG's. Swag Daddy Jake. Well, that's true. I guess I could have upkeep activated it and then remove all the counters afterwards. I didn't have to do it end step there. You're right. I should have drawn four. Should have flexed on them harder. Yeah, I should have done that. Well, isn't it like 4 a.m.? Do you have something better to be doing than backseating? Don't you have like a Vegas book the flight? Or F Vegas flight the book if you're not dyslexic? Um. So I do like besaging them. Because they don't have any actual lands. I think we're just good with this. I think the Goyf is better this turn. I can find a Hex Mage off of this though. Found an OBM. Thunder Trap Trainer. Suspends a Lotus Bloom. Now let's thought seize them and see what we're up against. And I'm probably just playing this Goyf. Commandeer Disrupting Shoal Tameshi. Thunder Trap Trainer Waterlog Teachings. I think I'm just taking the Tameshi. I have that or the Otter. Kind of close. Alright, they pitched their Otter, so I'm pretty happy about that. Go to black mana, grab. Mm. Hey, why are my... Play this. Get this back. Start attacking and gain some incremental advantage here. Grab the Goyf back. 
I wonder if it's worth it to just jam the Besager here. And I just like leave up the Haywire Mite. Two turns. I think I'm just going to play the Besager. Play a Goyf out. I think the clock is probably good enough to just kill them. So if I hit land, I can go Invasion for Vampire Hex Mage and then kill them. I got a Belcher. So I think land wins me the game. Bar and counter magic. Alternatively, I can just go up Haywire Might. And then return Haywire Might. It's like Haywire Might, their Lotus. Do they do have Commandeer? Alright, didn't matter anyways. Another goyf and then hey wire might take out this lotus and upkeep. After, of course, it comes off a of suspend. Then they shouldn't be able to belcher and activate belcher in the same turn, which means I get to attack with the overlord of the bail merc and then pick up hey wire might and play hey wire might. The needle seems great. Hey, why am I good? All the removal's pretty much useless. I guess Ghost Vacuum's not the worst. Stops Tameshi. I can also bring in Endurance for the same reason, I guess. I do want some removal for Tameshi, I suppose. What's up, Wes? Yeah, a little green black mid range with a side of combo. Right. You're definitely not familiar with anything like that, right? I'm mulligan. This hand's a little slow. Back a Goyf. In the drum pass. This is a matchup where I wish I was playing more Thoughtseize effects. It'd be so good here. Oh, look, that's easy. Go, go, gadget one, two. My boy. That's a lot bigger than one, two now. Now we gotta get a needle and name Belcher. I'm gonna grab a haywire might if they actually just play Belcher. They grew up so fast. They're probably into the flood maw. Do some surveillance. I think I'll leave that on top. This is doing look at the top six of your library and reveal an instant social card from a mug and put it in your hand and put the rest on the bottom. Save me needle. 
the only thing ensuring I don't die right now. Just play the land. Yeah, the only thing I wanted this ghost vacuum for was for Temeshi. I think I'm just gonna go grab a Goyf. Could be a Haywire Might here. Try to remove the gar Goblin Char build tree, but I feel like I'm just giving up too much time at that point. And um, they have into the Flood Mom. Turns out, didn't matter. Waterlogs teachings being just like modal seems insane. Modal tutor flood mon land. I wonder if I wanted endurance. I'm gonna keep his hands a little anemic, but we'll try it. Got a thought season in it. Can't be that bad. Now let's see what Moto Premium can do. Land the land, unable to scream Harbinger of the Seas. I'm gonna take the Harbinger. Harbinger's kind of a problem. That land and pass, and then fetch up Basic Swamp and Bowmaster, I guess. Suppose I could also just like cast X Mage. It might not be so bad. Under trap trainer. I got a Belcher. We're going to find an answer for this Belcher very quickly. So we're going to Surveil, even though this is going to enter play tap later. But I need to Surveil and try to hit, like, Needle or Haywire Might or something. Thoughtseize. I have kind of limited interaction with this deck. I think this deck really thrives against the energy decks of the format. It struggles against a lot of the combo decks. I got no two. I say you works. Can take out the first Belcher. I imagine they're just gonna play the Belcher. They're not playing the Belcher. Interesting. Bold move even. I gotta counter this, right? Maybe they just don't have a counter spell. Got a waterlogged teachings. We're gonna grab a haywire my curious to see what they waterlog teachings for. I played Mind Sludge. Tire player discards a card for each swamp you control. True. It's Mind Twist. I want my Dino.
We have four types. There's a five, six go wave. We're just gonna win now. All right, prediction time. I'm gonna keep this in. Not the worst. Play turn one haywire mountain pass. I think it's probably gonna be turn two overlord. Maybe turn to go if let's go with the overlord. We'll grab go if it's kind of a lot of nothing off the top there. The only card I was like toying around with in this deck was the idea of playing some number of rumbles. All right, I'm taking a lot of damage. A little flooded here. Take the damage. Play an arena. Discharge the cat, but then I'll be red permanence. Exit the cat. Um, I'm just playing this go wave. Both these things are going to fly, unfortunately. What's up, Ains? How we doing? He's for the static prison. Get rid of the ring instead of the static prison. I think that ring is less beatable. Don't get me wrong, this is already pretty tough to beat. Need a good one off the top here. I don't think force is a good one. Probably not. I think I'm skipping out on Atlanta. Attack a Johnny. Gain seven. Which is just offsetting this. Not really making headway here. Yeah, go little shadow spear go. Grow up to be the strongest little shadow spear. Looks like they're flooding. Another go wave.
I get the Overlord at the end step as well. Ocelot, Raghavan, and then they can hit me for 11. I go to two. I use Giganta. They want to thought seize me. They don't thought seize me. Probably a pretty good call. And a Goyf. Take back our static prison, I guess. I gain two. They're gonna let me have it back anyways, right? Cause I'm just dead. Dead to guide the souls. I'm going to take exactly lethal. Actually, more than that, because I can just hate Gigantha and fly Gigantha, and I can't beat that. Kind of embarrassing to lose to a single guy to souls. A wee bit embarrassing. I like the extra haywire might. I don't want the Nile spell bomb. I think the ghost vacuum is a little bit better. Angel Jiggy takes to the skies, heals me. Streaming on each of these. Embarrassing. I guess we can try it. Not my favorite hand. Next parasite goo. One of the past turn. Speaking of sweeper, we did draw toxic deluge. Not hitting our land drops though. So I think we got some takeaways from this league if nothing else. I think I should be playing less vampire hex mages and more rumbles. Maybe like three overlords, three battles, two hex mage and four rumble or something. I think Rumble would be really good. I think that's my number one takeaway so far. I'm just taking everything I've ever loved. Like, if either of these were Rumbles, oof, that'd be heat. Raven Charm. I feel like my opponent might have like overboarded a little bit because they're kind of just doing nothing over there. 
Maybe they'll die to my anemic beads. I don't think I just need to play the Hazel Land. Yeah, it's like the perfect opportunity to talk to Deluge. I saw someone playing three sagas instead of four. I didn't want to play ring and risk them having goblin bombardment. Because if they have goblin bombardment, I pretty much lose on the spot. Not going to get greedy with my toxic deluge. Right, I'll just fatal push and make a token. Not gonna ring quite yet. Oh, good, good, bros. Appreciate it. Thought I was about to get Blood Moon. Let's go grab Ghost Vacuum. Suck up the Flage. Then play the One Ring. Bonk. So I have double Hex Mage to reset the ring, so I don't think I'm in any, any danger of dying to the ring. Not for a while, anyways. Also, just got a Shadow Spear back. Alright, let's do some surveillance. It's been a goif. Been a goif, draw a goif. Shoot the sheriff and another goif. Let's play. Let's down to seven. I think I want to play vampire hex mage. No. Yeah, let's play vampire hex mage and then goif, goif. Yeah, this is what they meant by eight goif. It shoots the sheriff self. I am the sheriff in this town. All right, well that went swimmingly. Kind of. It was a lot of being stuck on two lands, and our opponent was also stuck on two lands. Our goif would be crazy good. This deck would actually thrive with Barogoyf instead of being like fringe playable. Guides my soul. I really, 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 really hope they don't Blood Moon me this game. Another one. And a cat. All right. I'm going to get hit by a cat for a couple turns.
Ouch. I should grab a haywire mite here just to be safe. I think haywire mite's probably my best thing I can grab here. Second to, of course, the Doomwake raid. Doomwake, thank you for the raid. Hope you had a wonderful stream. I appreciate you. Etc. They just me. my goyf. I'm gonna grab a haywire mite. Activate the haywire mite, grab the ghost lantern back. Then we're gonna ghost lantern, or sorry, ghost vacuum, eat the flage, and bone master the ocelot bread for good measure. Yeah, honest, we've been talking about this. If this deck had a Barogoyf, you're zero. However, we're not at that point in the meta. They're afraid of making it too powerful. MH4, please. I'm just gonna play another Goyf and then next turn we go Overlord, Mill Ford, pick up the Haywire Might, play the Haywire Might, sack the Haywire Might, kill the Goblin Bombardment. I missed Landra, did I? Nah, I'm pretty sure that was like Saga coming off, right? Yo, Cotter, hey, the tier one. Oh, I'm dead to this guy to souls. <sighs> uh, my very first standard meta was the Return to Ravnica standard. It was a good one, though. Dies of guy to souls, always. So, what do I do here? Is it just like Overlord? Get the Haywire Might, play the Haywire Might, sacrifice the target Goblin Bombardment. Pass, take six. It sucks. I need to kill his Goddess Holes, but like, if I kill his Goddess Holes, I'm taking three. They swing team. Take three for sure. I can block. Three, I'm taking four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I'm dead. All right, well, oh, let's leave me many options. Let's be dead this turn or be dead next turn. And Legacy today, new. Tomorrow I'll be playing Paper Legacy. Feels that makes sense. We're playing some Ant and Legacy tomorrow. Makes sense. Stack both of these. So I'm taking six. I need to draw Toxic Deluge. I think that's my only out. Or Ring. Ring would be sweet. For more chances at Toxic Deluge. I should have put something under the Ghost Vacuum. 
I'm gonna do it. Um, three, six, seven, eight. I'm dead. Despair. Guy, this is just too strong. Uh, too strong, too strong. Alrighty, chat. And pay out the doubters. Stacks all. All Gucci up until you hit a 1 2. It did Jund. It Junded about as hard as Jund could. I think the immediate changes I would make this deck would be. Minus 1 Overlord, minus 1 Invasion, minus 2 Hex Mage. And then probably play like. More Bowmasters, more Rumbles. Maybe you're supposed to play four Rumble. Rumble does fill the graveyard pretty nicely. Ah, uh, yes, Rumble. Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third-rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>